Okay, welcome to December's vlog. Nadja, where are you? As she runs in. Come here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy uh, Christmas. Hanukkah, right, Lun? To December's. You still there? Yes, happy Hanukkah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, all right. Happy, happy Hanukkah. Hanukkah. <laughs> happy everything. So we have um, bumper vlog. So much in this one. Um, big news, we've joined Corcoran Global Living. Uh, super excited about that. We get much bigger. We get much bigger. We have a uh, you know, much further global reach. Great opportunity for us to get our brand and message out to everybody uh, all over the world so that they can uh, give us a call and use our fantastic services. Uh, we're opening a new office. We still have the office in Los Feliz. We're opening a new 5,000 square foot office in the heart of Beverly Hills and uh, much more news to come. In this week's vlog, we are showcasing one of our listings, actually, we're in right now, 2400 North Commonwealth, in the heart of Los Feliz. Amazing property. Uh, what else do we have, Lon? I've got a piece that I did uh, for my Beverly Hills Memories, which is about the electric fountain that is right at the nexus of Wilshire and Santa Monica, right where they meet, there's an electric yeah. fountain. It was built in 1931. Electric fountain in Beverly Hills, very, very cool. Uh, Valley Girl, we have something for you? Yeah, we have top five, the most uh, expensive neighborhood in the Valley. That's just going to present five of the most uh, expensive neighbors in the Valley. So I think that's about it. So bumper vlog, a uh, few listings, a little bit of lifestyle stuff and um, enjoy. Hey, I'm John Campbell, and I'm proud to present this newly reimagined Spanish at 2400 North Commonwealth Avenue. of Corcoran Global Living and I'm out here at the Electric Fountain at the crossing of Wilshire Boulevard in Santa Monica and the Electric Fountain is a personal spot for me as well as a public spot for the people of Beverly Hills and I don't think that many people in Beverly Hills even know what the Electric Fountain is all about so I'd like you to look at this video I put together and give you a little history of what the fountain is all about and what it means to Beverly Hills. Thanks and I'll see you on the other side. The crown jewel of Beverly Hills Fountains was erected at the cross-section of Wilshire and Santa Monica Boulevard in 1931. It cost $22,000 and was designed with an ever-changing combination of water jets and colored lights. The fountain was installed thanks to the fundraising activities of homeowners spearheaded by comic actor Harold Lloyd's mother. Designed by architect Ralph Feeling and adorned with a base relief by Merrill Gage, the fountain became known for its beautiful lighting effects in jets of water. 
The base relief depicts a Gabrielino Indian's rain prayer, and the frise around the fountain depicts the rich history of California. Thanks for taking a look at our video, and now you know a little bit more about the electric fountain in Beverly Hills. And I just want to say I've had so many personal experiences here when I was growing up, whether it was meeting friends here with my bike or in high school hanging out with some friends, doing what you do in high school, and with some girls. And I even think I had a date or two that I might have brought here. It's a very romantic place at night. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll be back again with some more Beverly Hills memories. And until then, have a great day. John Campbell, PLG Estates, back with your questions answered. Today's question, what can I do to help sell my house inexpensively more quickly? Coming up after this. What an awesome question. As a seller, what can I do to help sell my house more quickly? Depersonalize the place. A new buyer coming in does not need to see you and a picture of your beloved or your beautiful dog or your lovely family or anything else here, there and everywhere. They want a picture of themselves in your lovely home. So let's try to depersonalize it. Declutter it. They do not need to see your soccer boots in the corner, your American football hat over there, your, your bag of frocks over here. Declutter the place. Make it nice, clear, fresh and open. Have the place cleaned. I know it sounds obvious. It wants to look clean, fresh, light and bright. Perhaps a little paintwork. Not a massive, massive job, but just you want a neutral colour, bright and light, so they walk in, it's a blank canvas, they're gonna picture themselves in your lovely home, it's definitely gonna help move it faster. Lastly, you might wanna get into staging. Here at PLG, we have incredible relationships with amazing designers and stagers all over town. Happy to give you those recommendations. And do I recommend staging? Yes, I do. But at the very least, declutter, depersonalize, paint, clean, then we're gonna sell your house in a quick minute. Anybody else out there with any LA real estate related questions, call me, text me, tweet me, DM me. I am here to help. Thanks for tuning in. Hi everyone, Nacha Morrow here. Welcome to The Valley Girl. In this episode, I would like to present you with the five most expensive neighborhood in the Valley. Number one, Toluca Lake with $810 per square foot. Number two, Studio City with $724 per square foot. Number three, Burbank with $668 per square foot. Number four, Encino with $637 per square foot. And number five, Valley Village with $627 per square foot. I hope you enjoy this episode and I will see you next time. And that's it. We hope you enjoy the rock for this month. Let's go again. More energy, man. Jump up and down. Jump up and down. I'm serious. Jump up and get the energy okay. going. You ready? Ready, long, three, two, one. All right. We hope you enjoy the rock <laughs> this month. What do you think? We hope. And one more. I quite like that. You might better use that. Three, two, one. Hey, we hope you. Well, right, you ready? <laughs> Never work with children or realtors. They're fucking murder. <laughs> All right, for the one, the one more time. Three, two, one. Hey, we hope you enjoyed our vlog. Um, wishing you and your families a very happy, healthy uh, holiday season and a prosperous 2021. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay home if you can. And um, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays from us all.